Hi, my name is Dr. Randy Papke and I'm coming to you from the Swick Biology Department. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use a microscope and um, just kind of notice that my microscope has a mask on it. Today and these days it's very important to remember that safety is especially important but in biology safety is always important so be like the microscope and wear a mask. During class, you are going to be required to have your mask on at all times. But in order for you to hear me more clearly, I'm going to take my mask off just for the purposes of this video. The microscope cabinets will be open. Carry it with both hands, one on the neck and one at the base. And then very carefully walk it over to your station. Once you get back to your station, you're going to unwind the cord from the base very carefully. It's a little tricky here, and sometimes you might have to raise the stage up a little bit. To do that, you're going to use the course adjust, and you can see that that raises the stage up. If you do that, be sure you're on the low power. So you're going to unwind the cord from the microscope and plug it in to a nearby electrical outlet. All right, it's plugged in now. And then we have to turn it on. There's a little switch on the back of the microscope right here. And when you turn that on, that does turn on the power. Um, sometimes you might see the light coming on and it, the light is on right now and that's fine. That tells you your microscope's on. Um, when you have your microscope with you, uh, the first thing you're going to do is clean it. Again, we're being very careful in time of COVID. So even though um, it hasn't been used for, you know, a half hour or several days, you're going to clean it. And I have a, um, this is an alcohol prep pad and we're supplying these for you. Um, the areas that you're going to want to clean on your microscope are the arms. Any place that you might touch, like the coarse and fine focus, which are located on both sides of the microscope. You're also going to want to clean the stage movers or the stage slide movers and get them all the way around because you're going to be touching these knobs in 360 degree um, plane. You do not want to clean the lenses at this time. The lenses are gonna be cleaned in a, with using a different liquid. You do not use alcohol on the lenses. So in order to clean the lenses, we're going to use a Kim wipe. Um, it's a very gentle piece of paper and lens cleaning solution. So just take the lid off of there and put some of the solution on your Kim wipe. And then you're going to very gently, in, in a circular motion, clean the ocular lens. And then you can dry the ocular lens. And then you're going to do the same thing for all of the lenses on the, the nose piece. These are part of the compound lenses. So this is the oil immersion lens. We don't use that in Bio 100 or 101, but you might be using it when you go into um, anatomy and physiology. Um, this is the 100X, or sorry, this is the 40X. Uh, this is the 10X. And then this is the 4X. We usually start learning how to use a microscope using the letter E. We want to clean the slide before we put it on our microscope. So there's a box of Kim wipes available and you're just going to take one and go in a circular motion. Make sure it's nice and clean and has no fingerprints on there. If we're being very careful, we can also clean these with alcohol. So the next thing that we're going to do is to seat the slide on the microscope and we're going to put it on the stage. The way I do this is I literally just lay it on the stage like this and then with my right hand I'm going to open the slide holder lever arm. You can see that opening and then slide the slide right into there so that it kind of fits very snugly in this little L shape and then gently close that lever arm so that it's snug up against this corner. Now you've got the, seat, the slide seated in the microscope properly. 
The next thing that we're going to do is center the slide. And in order to center the slide, we want the light to be very bright coming up from the bottom. So I'm going to turn this light as up as bright as it will go. And then, um, and then I'm going to use these two knobs right here. And as, when I turn the top knob, the slide moves backwards and forwards in space. When I turn the bottom knob, the slide moves left and right in space. So I'm going to center this letter E in that bright light. Right about there looks pretty good. The next thing that we're going to do is get the, the slide in focus. And before we can do anything, we have to make sure we're on low power or 4x. So I'm going to turn my revolving nose piece till it's on low power, 4x. You can hear it clicking into place when I do that. Next, we're going to raise the stage um, using the focus knobs. This is the course focus or course adjust. And this is the fine focus or fine adjust. You can see as I move it, the, if I turn this coarse focus, the stage is actually going up. So you can see it going up. If I turn the fine focus, it doesn't really look like the stage is moving up much. And that's because it does very subtle motions of the stage. So here we go. We're going to raise this all the way up to the top. And then the next step is the tricky step. It's kind of fun. I'm going to get it in focus without actually looking in the microscope and that is I'm going to lower my stage down just a scooch. So I'm going to do that again without looking in, but if I lower it just a tiny little bit, it's going to be close to being in focus. Um, so it, this is the first time I'm going to look into the microscope, but I don't want to burn my retinas. Remember I turned that light up really bright so we could center it. I'm going to turn that light down now by turning my rheostat down till it's about halfway dim. And now I'm going to look in. If you, wear, if you wear glasses like I do, it might be a good idea to take them off at this time. So I'm looking in here, and I did a pretty good job. That E is just a little off center. I want it to be perfectly centered. So I'm going to move my stage down, um, up. It looks like up to you, but in here it looks down. And now it's centered to my eye. It's also in pretty good focus. Using that trick really helps. But it's not perfect, and I want it to be perfect. So I'm going to use the fine focus now to get that letter E in very crisp. This is what it looks like when you get it in focus. As you slowly turn the fine focus, the image gets sharper and sharper until it's in focus. The next thing that we're going to do is to zoom in. And to zoom in, we simply move our our lenses to the next highest power. This is called medium power, also 10x. And at this time, when I look into the microscope, it should be mostly in focus. So I'm going to take a peek in here. It's not, it, I can see the letter E, but it's not in great focus. I want it to be crisp. And so I'm going to use my fine focus, not my coarse focus at this time. The coarse focus is only when you're on low power. Notice that the letter E is still centered um, and looks much bigger, but it is slightly out of focus. So we're going to use our fine focus to get it nice and crisp. We're going to take it up to high power now and see what that looks like. Remember that the letter E has to be centered in order for you to see anything on high power. High power is 40x. So we're going to click it into place and then take a look in. I'm not seeing much of anything, and that's normal because our um, high power is so strong. So you're going to play a little bit with the fine focus until you see something. This is pretty crisp, and I can see some dark ink in here, but I cannot see the whole letter E. We've just zoomed in too much. Let's take a look. What we see here is that tar top band going across the top, that black area. That is the letter E. That's all that we can see of it. Um, I also want to point out here that we see the pointer coming up from the bottom right hand side and the pointer is a very useful tool. It allows us to talk to each other if you're sharing a microscope. Right now we're not sharing microscopes, but if you want to show your instructor what you're looking at, putting it near the pointer is very helpful. 
Now we're going to learn how to take the slide off. And the first thing that you have to do is put it back on low power. Uh, since we're not using the oil immersion lens, we really want to go backwards the way we came. So clicking through medium and then down to low power. At this time, you're going to want to lower the stage down using that coarse focus till the stage is all the way down. And then we can take our hand and open up the lever arm and gently slide the slide off of the stage and put it on the desk. And you're done with removing this, the slide. Next, we're going to clean our microscope. You know, we don't want to have anything uh, contagious being passed along. So another alcohol prep wipe for you. And any place that you touched needs to be cleaned. So I touched the, the um, lenses. I touched around here a little bit. I definitely was on the course and fine focus on both sides. And you're done. To put this particular model of microscope away, you're going to have to raise the stage back up a bit. As long as you're on low power, that's okay. So you're going to raise that back up a bit. And then you're going to turn the power off and unplug the microscope. The next thing you're going to do is wrap the cord around the base, like, it, like you did when you found it. Always a fun process. And once it, the cord is wrapped around the base, you're going to do one last cleaning. So that alcohol prep wipe that you had, you're going to clean your hands, just very gently, and the thing that you touched was the course adjust. So go ahead and wipe those down again. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned a lot about how to use and care for the microscopes here at SWIC.